Welcome to GED Math and Dirty News. In these tutorials, I will show you how to solve many of the GED math problems using the TI-30XS scientific calculator. Welcome to GED Math for 30 Days. I'm your host. My name is Jeremy Tinsley. I'm an adult educator out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania for the last 20 years. And I created my, my website, passgdmath.com. I created an ebook to help people who have so much difficulty with passing the GED math exam. But guess what? I'm here to help you. Uh, so first of all, today, what we're going to discuss is how to determine what is a linear equation from a word problem? How to, to find out what is a linear equation from a word problem? So let me share my screen. Okay, so let me make it a little bigger. Let me move it over. Okay, so let's look at this problem. Okay, um, again, make sure you check out my website, uh, pass, uh, passgedmath.com. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Make sure you like, make sure you comment. I'm going to make it real easy for you. Listen, people have uh, been, been inundating my email and my Facebook group or page. Um, how do you know when to use linear equations? How I can't tell? I'm going to show you right now. Let's look at question number one. The cost of a school banquet is $95 plus $15 for each person attending. Write an equation that gives total cost as a function of the number of people attending. What is the cost for 77 people? Oh my God, I don't know how to do this problem. Well, I'm here to show you today that you won't have any more problems with determining the linear equation from a word problem. So first of all, no matter how many people come, how much is it going to cost? No matter if zero people come, 10 people come, 100 people come. How much is it going to cost? Well, I hope you answered $95. Why? Because the cost of the school banquet is $95 plus $15 for each person attending. So it doesn't matter. The $95 isn't determined how, how, how many people come. So again, Y equal MX plus B is our slope intercept form of a linear equation. So now we just got to identify what's what. So what's not going to change or your constant is $95. No matter how many people come, that's not going to change. It's called your constant. That should be or your Y intercept. <laughs> now, the other thing that they give you, $15 for each person. Well, that's variable. That can change. So, for example, if one person come, it's fifteen dollars. If two people come, it's a thirty. It's thirty extra dollars. If five people come, it's another seventy-five dollars. So that number can change. That is variable, and that is your slope. Now we just plug in those numbers into our slope-intercept form. So y equal fifteen x plus 95. That easy. It's that easy. You were reading this. I don't know what to do. Identify what your constant is. What's not changing. That's going to be your B or your Y intercept. Then look at what's changing and that's going to be your slope. Because remember, slope is a constant rate of change. Well, for every person that's coming, they're going to charge $15. So that's one part of this equation. I mean, one part of this question, that's the equation. What is the cost of 77 people? Okay, well, this is in essence X. So because 77 people are coming, so we're going to, let me save this and let me clear it. And let's grab our calculator. Okay, we want to use our calculator as, as much as we can. So let me clear the screen. Okay, let me bring this up. So 15X plus $95. That was our equation. Y equals 15X plus 95. And we want to know the cost of 77 people. Very easy. So we want to substitute X. Okay. So 15 in parentheses, since we're multiplying times 77, 
plus 95. Enter. So the cost of 77 people will be 1250. <laughs> that easy. It's that easy. Let me save it. It's that easy. Okay. That's how you figure out linear equations from word problems. Okay, let me clear the screen so we can try another one. Okay, let me minimize my calculator. Let's try number four. A sunflower in Julio Rosario's garden was 12 centimeters tall when it was first planted. Since then, it has grown approximately 0.6 centimeters per day. Write an equation expressing the sunflower's height, H, in terms of the number of days, D. Oh my God, what are they talking about, H and D? I thought you was talking about Y equal MX plus B. What are they talking about, H and D now? Don't worry. Remember, variables can be changed. Any variable could stand for anything you want. They are just telling you what they want the variables to be. So you can still start with Y, equal mx plus b. Now, look in here, let's, let's use the previous example. What is not changing? Correct, the 12 centimeters. That's my b. What is changing per day? The height, which is 0. 0.6 centimeters per day. That's your variable, so that's your m. So my equation will be y equal 0.6x plus 12, but they want to use the height. So this is the height. So instead of y, it's h. Instead of x, it's d. That easy, they're the same equation. 0.6d, h is equal to 0.6d plus 12. That easy, okay? Let me save it. Let me clear the screen. Let's go to the next one. Again, let's practice. This, this is what happens in math. You got to practice. I'm not going to keep this video long. I'm going to do these next two problems, and then we're going to be done uh, for this video. Again, y equal mx plus b. You have to know the slope intercept form of a linear equation. Okay, Billy plans to paint baskets. The paint costs $14.50. The baskets cost $7.25 each. Write an equation that gives the total cost as a function of the number of baskets made. Determine the cost of four baskets. Again, what's not gonna change, no matter how many baskets you make, it costs you 1450 for the paint, okay? That should be, that's your constant. That's not changing. Now, depending upon how many baskets you make, it's variable, that can change. So 725 times one, if you're making one basket, 725 times two, you're making two baskets. So therefore, this is your slope. So your equation will be y equal 725x plus 1450. Just because we don't have whole numbers doesn't mean you can't create a linear equation. Y equals 7.25x plus 1450. Now, they want to know the cost of four baskets. So we're going to grab our calculator. Let me save it. Let me erase everything except for the equation. And let's open our calculator. Again, this is an easy problem. Okay, let's move this down. Move this down. Again, very easy to do. You have your calculator, seven point. Two, five. Since we're multiplying by x, we know x is 4 plus 1450. Let the calculator do all the work for you. 4350. So the cost of four baskets will be $43.50. Remember, you got to add that zero. Since we're talking about money, you have to add that additional zero. Easy problem. Okay, let me save it. Let me clear everything out. And let's try one more before we stop. I didn't clear the screen though. Let me clear the screen. I thought I cleared the screen. There we go. Let me minimize my calculator and let's do one more. Again, a real estate agent receives salary of 250 per week plus a commission of 2% of sales. Write an equation that gives the weekly income Y in terms of sale X. 
guess what? It's still the same problem. We start the same exact way. Y equal MX plus B. You must understand this is the recurrent theme of a linear equation. It's the slope intercept form of a linear equation. What is not going to change no matter how much you sell? I hope you, hopefully you said 250 per week. That is your B. That is your constant. That's not going to change no matter how much you sell, you make $250 a week. Now, what is going to change? 2% of your sales. That is your M. Okay? So all we're going to do is plug in. So Y equal 2% X. You can't put 2% X. No, you cannot. But what is 2% as a decimal? I don't remember. Don't worry. Use your calculator. It is your friend. Let me grab my calculator. And let's change 2% to a decimal. So we're going to write in 2%. And we're going to hit enter. 0 0.02. We don't have to do any work. 0 0.02. Let me minimize it. We're going to come back to our problem. And we know this is really 0 0.02, which is your M. We know this is our B. So Y equal MX plus B. Our linear equation is going to be Y equal 0 0.02 x plus 250. Now, what if we wanted to change it to a fraction? <laughs> Again, use your calculator. It doesn't matter. What if all the multiple choice answers were fractions? I don't remember what point two is a fraction, but you have to remember you can use the double arrows to change to a fraction. Okay, that's your toggle button. Okay, so one over 50. Let me minimize that and let's write our new equation as a fraction, y equal 1 over 50, x plus 250. These are both the same equation. One is the decimal equivalent. One is the fraction equivalent. <laughs> That's my video for the day. I hope you understand how to change a word problem into a linear equation. I hope this helps. If it did help, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Make sure you like this video and make sure you comment and make sure you let me know how you've been doing. OK, please um, let me know how you're doing. Comment on whatever video helped you so I know um, what videos to make and continue to make. Uh, this is my passion. I love to do it. Wait for that discount, discount code at the end of the video um, to get it 20% uh, off my ebook, which will show you how to solve some of the most difficult problems on your GED exam in less than one minute. Uh, check out my website, passgedmath.com. Again, make sure you subscribe, you like, and you comment. Thanks. I hope you enjoyed it. Oh, and remember, um, all the chapters are going to be in a toggle bar in the video. So you don't have to watch this entire video. You can go to each example by clicking on the toggle button, bar, bar or looking into your description. Thanks. And have a great day. Bye-bye.